Hey there, John Larson here on behalf of Green Days Group, and I want to welcome you to what should be the final video in this series regarding Trello and how to begin to use Trello as a, not only a, a project management tool, but also as uh, something that can help you organize your life and frankly get more done in a day, uh, which is ever so important when you're trying to uh, move to a space where you're just using your time as creatively as possible and working towards getting as much done as you can in order to push yourself to achieve the long-term goals that are important to you rather than being tossed about by life without really ever you know being able to focus on what it is that you want to achieve uh, so hopefully this um, video series has been helpful for you in terms of being able to leverage Trello uh, as a tool to you know better yourself and, and better your life in the process. But this specific video, actually, um, I want to dive into sort of uh, what you can do outside of Trello, but with Trello. Um, because Trello is great, and, and as you know from watching the other videos in the series, I love it. I, I think it's just really fantastic. And I am truly grateful to the creators of Trello uh, for making this be something that is either free or very low cost because it opens it up uh, to a lot of people where, you know, if you're a business person and you're just starting your business and you really can't afford $100 a month for a project management system, uh, being able to start off for free, you know, is pretty powerful. And, and even when it's paid, uh, it's just a few, few dollars per user per month. So uh, it's really, really affordable even at sort of the business enterprise level. Um, so, you know, my hat's off to Trello for, you know, being willing to create something like this and just make it um, so easy to get into. Um, but in any case, uh, Trello, as good as it is, um, is not perfect. Uh, and, and it definitely has some things about it that are uh, maybe annoying, uh, some people might say. Um, so what am I talking about? Well, for example, um, Trello by its nature uh, does not let you have a calendar where all of the things that you have that you're working on um, are sort of in one view. Uh, so every single kind of card can have its own calendar. Uh, so you can imagine if I have to define a card and then define sort of the, the calendar for that card and then there's a little subscription thing for each calendar um, and then you know, you'd have to add it into your, your iCal or whatever, it just becomes really overwhelming really, really quickly. So that's kind of annoying um, and is something that gets to be really, really uh, a pain in the neck. Now I'm gonna bring back over my original um, sort of board uh, so you can sort of see the the full construct once it's got all that information filled in um, and you know certainly keeping track of this information is is pretty straightforward when it's on one board uh, but the issue is is that I have things that are scattered uh, not on just one board, but on literally hundreds and hundreds of boards because, you know, we have a lot of clients and so we need to keep track of a lot of details uh, across, um, you know, a lot of different spaces. So when you're setting this stuff up, setting this up for yourself, uh, if it's a case where, you know, it's just one board and, and you're it's just a very simple view, fantastic. Uh, but in my particular case, I needed something you know that let me sort of see from a calendar point of view where things were headed. So there's a, a handy um, tool, and it's called the Sunrise Calendar, and uh, you can get to it from this address. So calendar dot sunrise dot am. Okay. So calendar dot sunrise dot am. And this thing is fantastic. Um, it is, frankly, in my mind, uh, just as useful as Trello is. Uh, so I highly recommend it. And uh, it's pretty self-explanatory, so I'm not going to spend a ton of time diving into it. But the, the folks who've made this, it's actually Microsoft. So this is not some third party that you've never heard of before. It's Microsoft. 
Uh, they have a couple of different versions of this. They have one that is web-based, which we're looking at right here, uh, but they also have one that is app-based, so you can load it on your iPhone or on your uh, Android device, um, your tablets, whatever, uh, and you can carry this with you. Uh, and by the way, you know, I should say this too about Trello. Trello also has an app so that if you're on your iPhone or your iPad or your Android device, you can access your your Trello stuff from there too, so it's a sort of take it with you. With you, uh, it's it's um, something that I think is again pretty handy as far as Trello is concerned. But we're talking about Sunrise, uh, so in in terms of Sunrise, the beauty of it is that it lets you synchronize across multiple accounts. Uh, so if you are using Office 365, you can connect to it. If you're using Google Calendars, you can connect to them. If you're using the iCloud, connect to it. Uh, if you're dealing with, say, Google Tasks, you can connect to it. Any of the social networks, you can connect to those too. Evernote, connect to that. Uh, so it just keeps going and going and going. If you happen to be using, say, for example, Basecamp, you could connect to that as well. I'm connected right now to iCloud and also to Trello. And that's where this becomes really handy because you can basically connect to your cards. So remember when I was talking to you earlier about how important it was to assign yourself, uh, and let me go back to that sample, you know, assign yourself to each card. Well, the reason you do that is because if you do that, then you can say my cards. And anything that you've been assigned to, you check this, then it'll populate your calendar with anything that is specific. So any tasks that you have, uh, it'll it'll fill that in for you on your calendar. So then you know you don't have to worry about uh, checking anything specific for you know clients. You can just worry about uh, picking your cards, and then you know it'll fill in from there. So that's. Uh, pretty nice but what it does is it lets you just look at things uh, from uh, sort of that calendar perspective so you can really see uh, what's happening uh, now and into the future so Trello is great and if your life isn't too complicated and you can get by with just keeping track of everything sort of within this construct that I've talked about fantastic more power to you but if you're running multiple boards within Trello uh, even though you sort of use this as a uh, central command for what you're working on you may find that in fact having uh, a different point of view a calendar point of view is pretty handy and by the way this lets you switch on the fly so you can kind of look at things from the month perspective or from from the, uh, the the week perspective, so uh, it's it's pretty um, useful in that regard as well. So again, uh, this is calendar.sunrise.am. This is free. It's by the folks at Microsoft, and uh, I think that it's a must-have if you're going to be using Trello. Now, another handy thing to have is Gantt charts, uh, and so basically this URL Gantt hyphen chart.com is specific to Trello uh, and a few other things too uh, but this is also free and basically you can create a Gantt chart for any board that you have going so for example I might have a pending projects and I set this one up as a sample uh, but I have a pending projects board so if I click on that it will read all of the cards on that particular board uh, and it will it will do that. Now, I, I wasn't logged in so bear with me here for just a second I'm gonna go ahead and allow access real quick um, and uh, it'll it'll take just a minute for it to to come back up and then we will uh, go back to that pending projects and tell it to do a chart again um, so sorry for that little mix up there but um, it'll build it out and if you in Trello define sort of a begin and an end date, I just have due dates right now, so that's why we have sort of these these check marks this way. But if you have a, a beginning and an ending date, then it would have these these Gantt chart lines going across. So anything that you have that's pending, and it basically sets it up uh, under each list that you have so for example I have waiting for clients I have design concepts I've got a client review I have things that are in programming I have things that are in final review things that are completed so we can kind of keep track of where things are and if you're using the full date function of start and end then you would really begin to see uh, the flow uh, and and where you might have spaces to fill 
uh, new projects or maybe where you're kind of overwhelmed. So uh, anyway, this is a fun thing. Again, this is just a little sample board that I put together for you just so you could see uh, how things are set up. But hopefully this is helpful to you to understand that there is this capability. So Trello doesn't have it by default but using gant-chart.com uh, it is available to you and again this utility is free uh, so I think that that's um, again a worthwhile thing to marry with Trello. Now the final thing is called uh, Zapier and basically what this does is this allows you to connect services together that maybe are on completely different platforms so for example uh, maybe I have um, uh, Trello uh, and, and let me just go ahead and do this um, and let me let me make a zap uh, that's probably the best way to, to handle this and we'll just wait for them to work their magic All right, so we can choose a trigger application. So uh, I'm going to type in Trello because that's my trigger. And they have sample zaps. So, you know, if you don't know what you're doing, you can kind of look at what other people have done and you can use those uh, for yourself. Uh, and then you can choose an action app. So there's a ton of different applications that are out there. Um, so, you know, maybe you're somebody where you're using Salesforce. Um, so we'll just go ahead and click on Salesforce right there. Uh, and so you can have a trigger. So maybe there's a, a new card that I create here in Trello. And now what do I want Salesforce to do? Uh, well, in Salesforce, I wanted to create a, a comment on a case. Uh, and so, you know, when this does this, then this will do that. So the point is, is that using Zapier, it literally connects disparate systems together through what's called an API or application programming interface and um, for people who just really don't know you know you're not technical and you, you just don't know what's going on uh, this whole thing is supposed to simplify that for you so that uh, you don't have to be a programmer to get things to work together and uh, that is so powerful so you can imagine now how Trello might begin to interact with different applications that you might be using already within your business uh, and it works with a ton of them out of the box through this sort of uh, Zapier um, connectivity and, and so you know once you define you know, what it is that you want to do you can then fill in the details and, and test your accounts and uh, give it all of the parameters that it needs in order to be able to um, do what you want it to do and again and this is really important there are a ton of pre-made sort of actions that are already uh, available so you don't have to walk through this wizard you could actually literally do a search and find exactly what it is that you want to have done and then um, tell it to basically replicate that for you and fill in your details and then you're done now uh, the one thing is is that for everything we've talked about so far it's always been free and with Zapier uh, there's a little charge and basically every single time um, something happens there's like a little microcharge that you have to pay uh, but really for the convenience of not having to hire programmers and for the advanced integration that it offers with things like Salesforce um, or really you know a myriad of other tools I mean everything from rescue time uh, which is a, a popular time management tool uh, all the way through to base camp and and other things as well um, then it's it's pretty handy sugar CRM by the way a great customer relationship management platform uh, we use capsule and and that's also featured here uh, so basically there's a lot that you can do uh, through this Zapier I highly recommend it as uh, a way of extending the functionality of Trello there is no doubt that this is an advanced function it certainly isn't required uh, but if you need the connectivity it is there so again as an overview start with Trello and you can use the free version that's what I'm using here build out your construct fill it in start using it religiously and then you can integrate it with the sunrise calendar which again is available as an app on every device available start using the Gantt charts if you need them uh, in order to keep track of more 
complex projects that you might be uh, dealing with. And then certainly, uh, if you really want to go crazy, uh, you can use Zapier and uh, create zaps and connect the various systems that you might be utilizing with uh, Trello itself to uh, further improve your workflow and project management capabilities. Well, that's it. That's all I have for you. Uh, I hope that this video series has been uh, helpful to you. Uh, certainly it is helpful to us and at Green Days Group uh, as we uh, work towards helping our clients uh, basically rule their local markets uh, with uh, online marketing we are using these techniques that I've described to you uh, as a way to ensure that we are as efficient as possible for our clients uh, to ensure that details do not get lost uh, and to make certain that we are always working the system uh, so that we work as closely as possible towards perfection. We can't claim to be perfect, but we're sure trying hard. And this tool uh, helps us uh, achieve those goals. And uh, as always, if you have any online marketing questions at all, uh, please feel free to reach out to me. Uh, my email address is john, J-O-H-N, at green, like the color, days with an S, group like a rock band dot com. Uh, so feel free to ask me a question. And, um, you know, if uh, it's an appropriate thing, I'd love to work with you on your own uh, marketing needs as well. So with that, thank you so much for your time. I hope that you have uh, a fantastic rest of the day. And again, uh, I really appreciate you uh, hanging out with me for these uh, few videos as we've dived into Trello. Take care.